This is a dangerous precedent which is coming about. And our communities have to now become aware of what is going on. And there's still time for us. There's still time for us to fortify our communities, to unite with other believers, to start to really educate our children, to start to really look at our problems, but it's gonna need balanced leadership. And it also needs the type of discussions that go to what we call the bottom line. In other words, you go right to the issue. As the Quran says, Qul ittaqullaha wa qulu kawlan sadida. Have the consciousness of Allah and speak a straightforward word. Kawlan sadida. So in this light, I wanted to present um, at the beginning of our discussion tonight, something from a text, a text of a great Islamic scholar. And I've chosen him because he's one of the scholars who could be considered a balanced scholar in the 20th century, who was able to cross barriers, cultural barriers, and was respected by people in many parts of the Muslim world. A Sheikh Muhammad Al-Amin Al-Shanqiti, Rahimahullah. He came from the Shanaqita. This is in Mauritania, in West Africa. A long tradition of scholarship coming from North Africa, the fiqh of Malik, uh, Imam Malik ibn Anas, Rahimahullah, which was, came out of Medina and went to North Africa and Andalusia and settled in West Africa and the, and the Sahara and the desert. And so from this tradition, Muhammad al-Amin, Rahimahullah, he memorized the Quran before he was 10 years old. And he studied within his own home. This is another important issue. His father and his mother were scholars. His uncles were scholars. And so he studied even within his own home that the home was not just dunya, but the home was a place of ibadah and scholarship. And so his early adab, his etiquette and his training came from his mother and his father, his family. And he learned in that and he was able to uh, become uh, proficient in fiqh, in tafsir, in hadith. And later he traveled to the Arabian Peninsula and he taught in Riyadh and also al Madina to Munawwara, Medina. And he was known as one of the great scholars of Medina for many years. He has a text which I will give you an abbreviated version of just so we can start to think about some of the areas that this balanced scholar put in front. He said, Ashara masail idham alayha madad dunya that there are 10 great issues. Upon these issues, the whole world revolves. Everything rests upon these. These are 10 areas. Some of these areas are personal, and some of them are international. With this, we will begin to see and understand what is happening in the Muslim world, and also partially what is happening in our own lives. And I want to just touch on these 10 points and then open up the floor for any questions and discussions. <laughs>